Ariana. She got up. She sold him. I fucking hate you still. But I liked a little bit of the breakthrough. And this was a good friend. And he did give you a lot of money. And, and, and yeah. I mean, uh, I also love how Tob is like trying with her. And then we do get into this confrontational scene with Lala. And I'm like, he don't care. Oh, and by the way, before we get there. Um, I love how we hire, I mean, I can't help but notice the details. I love how we hire this yogi to come and Tom is explaining. I'm like, you don't need to explain Scandival to her, bro. She knows all about it. A whole <laughs> world from here to Brock's hometown and back knows about fucking Scandival. So I don't know what we're doing here explaining. I mean, which producer was like, no, you got to explain it to her. I had an affair. And man, it was cool. And now I fucked up and the group hates me, man. They hate me with my blue nail polish. Dude, she knows all about Scandival. Save your breath. These are the things that keep me up at night, Sarah. You have good attention to detail, my friend. I can't help uh, Yeah, that was, that was funny. Um, okay, what did you make of that big epic scene at the end? With Lala. And I, I agree with you. I think Tom really doesn't care about his relationship with Lala. Do you? I really, I don't think he cares. No, I, I think he cares about Sheena, right? Yeah, I do too. I mean, I don't think they made any headway, right? Like at the end, he's like, you're right. And Sheena explained it. Lala's looking at him like, yeah, this isn't going to change anything. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, what did you think of it? Uh, oh, I agree. I, I, um, I do think you're right. Sandoval picks and chooses relationships that he values. I don't think he values his relationship, particularly with Lala. I don't think he cares. And I don't think they're particularly good friends in real life. That said, she was the one that really stood up and stood out at BravoCon defending him, telling the audience that she would tell them all to blank themselves at this point when they booed him and everything else. Um, you know, she was the one that kind of, I, 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 but I think she does that because I think she realizes that this is their gravy train. Like I think, and, and there's she probably, gets it. I think she gets it, but also there's probably a sense of like, how much can one person take? I know LVP has been talking about that and it's, you know, we're dealing with it now in the sister wives sp space, although we don't know, you know, exactly what happened, but, um, is the pressure so much that he does try to hurt, hurt himself? You know, I think, I think Lala has good perspective. I also agree with Sandoval in that scene where I think that she doesn't reveal a lot about her real life. I, I don't. I mean, we're now six episodes in. There's no update with her divorce. She's divorcing someone highly, you know, controversial who's been alleged in drugs and so many things. We have no mention and of And other things. Yeah. Like none of that is discussed. She's date. She was married to a me too guy and we don't even hear anything about that. No, we don't. Well, that's Tom's point, right? You know, I mean, she's like, I don't want my past thrown back in me. Um, look, did you also see this rumor going around that LVP, uh, an evolution half funded Lala's pregnancy to keep her storyline going. I, I, it's, I, I don't think it's true, girl. You're making your faces. I don't yeah. think I'm breaking any news here. I think this is another bullshit story. Yeah, I do too. I think that's just too personal. I, I mean, I'm sure they're happy for her. Just like, you know what the other story is? Uh, the, yeah, the other story is, you know, we talked about that we're going to see Morgan Wade, that Sutton's eyes bulged out when a suit walked by and these super sleuths have gone and said this is what Kathy's wearing look at what that person is wearing this is not Kathy I don't know is it Morgan Wade seems a little dressed up to me to be Morgan Wade I think she'd bop in in some jeans and a tee a la Jenna Lyons but Maybe I don't know Jenna? I mean do we have another th so we have that conspiracy theory yes that's the new theory that you know LVP paid for this to keep Lala's story going with child coming to Vanderpump next season. I don't buy it. 
Uh, I don't buy it either, but I do think the show could be in trouble. I mean, it's not, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's interesting. And at the same time, it's like, I mean, we all know about this. Like she does make a reference to that picture. We remember when that picture happened. You find the other things more interesting. Like I do find it interesting when they're hiring and Penny won't shut up and let them get a word in edgewise. Like at least, I mean, it's not like riveting television, but at least we don't know about this scene existing. Like we gotta, yeah, this cannot be about, I will give you this season Let's keep talking about Scannable. Let's relive everything. Let's do this. Let's do that. We can't do this next season. So let's get it out of our systems, right? In season 11, we can't keep doing this next season. Every other word is going to be Scandable forever. Well, my therapist always tells me that I'm a oh. person that doesn't want to um, really soak in the emotion that I always just want to get it, like move uh. past it. Uh, stop talking about, I always want to get to the end to the, to the, it's going to be better part. My therapist is always trying to get me to take it in and, and take in the emotion and really feel all the feels. So uh -huh. maybe the audience likes it. Maybe the audience is going, working through the therapy of it too. And, and you and I want to just rush to the end where everything is uh, okay. Well, when I went to therapy, a many, a many, a many, I, I don't even know if years is the right word. Uh, maybe we should just throw in the word decades. Eventually, when I quit, believe it or not, I'm not in therapy, people, nor have I been for a very long time. Yeah, my therapist used to also want me to feel the feels. And as you pointed out on a recent show, you know, I don't want to feel the feels. Like I would say like, oh, I'm going to die alone. And he'd be like, well, you're laughing. You have a smile on your face. I'd be like, I mean, it is what it is, man. I don't got no feels. So sometimes so isn't therapy get, is it really good to feel the feels all the time when you feel and you then break down and you can't get out of bed? Guess what? I go out, I have the two martinis and then I wake up. It's a new day, guys. Who needs to feel? Who needs to feel? I would say, but therapy. I agree with you. The therapist, they want you to feel. And I'm like, I'm out of here. This just seems like a big old, I'm going to get out of bed and feel at 6 a.m. And then we're going to be like in a fetal position till nine. Seems like a waste of time to me. No? Um, well, no, I'm kind of with you, except for I will say, I've been, my husband and I go to a couples therapist we've been seeing for probably seven years. And she like saves our marriage because I think feeling the feels is important when there's another person involved because you aren't that person. You know what I mean? You have to really understand that person because you don't. You guys were raised two different ways, everything, right? So I do think feeling the feels actually keeps our marriage really strong, but I'm I'm with you. I'm kind of getting to the point that I'm over it. I mean, you know, life is ebbs and flows, right? Isn't that what you find out over? And you have to have a mindset every day of like, good things are going to happen to me. Good things are going to happen to me. And unfortunately, uh, things out of our control happen. And then, you know, you can't Correct. let it, you can't let it bottle up inside, you know? Happiness but for most people, I believe is a choice. I believe it, people that have drama in their lives, they want it. says, what do you talk about when you hang out with all these housewife friends of yours? And I say, housewife.